Hello everybody, it's Tim again. Just a quick video in case you're thinking about a little project to build up and looking for a uh, signal tracer. And uh, the price on eBay for some of those uh, used uh, older systems are really kind of expensive. So I found this on Amazon and it is the Try to bring it in there, the Veloman K7000. Comes as a kit. It's a pretty easy kit to put together. I didn't bother filming putting it together because it's just a kit. But it doesn't come with anything. But then I thought, well, I wanted to make it a little more usable. So, what I have here was inside is the kit. Let me see if I can zoom in there. Do -do -do. Okay, you can see there's the kit. And then uh, I have a 9 volt battery. Where is it at? There's a 9 volt battery. The in input and output. I had some BNCs laying around. Had a switch to turn the battery on and off. A little uh, jack here on the side so I can use the 9 volt external supply. Uh, in, in this little box, I mounted a just a little speaker that I had laying around, 8 ohms, half a watt. And uh, just drilled some holes in the, in the top of the box for the speaker. The uh, box itself was a Home Depot, a Home Depot deal. I think it was around seven, seven fifty or so for the box. And uh, everything fit in there quite nicely. And if uh, if you're like me and you have a lot of stuff laying around from projects projects that you've done and don't forget that you have it laying around uh, I think for under maybe 35 bucks you could put this together the kit was around I think the kit was around 19 the uh, the box was around 8 I had the BNC's I had the switch uh, 9 volt battery I had laying around I had the uh, jacks laying around the only thing I didn't have was the uh, 9 volt battery holder and I mean you don't really even need one of those I just don't like it flopping around in there so if you have some of this stuff laying around for 20 20 between 20 and 30 dollars you can put it together I'll give you a quick demonstration unfortunately I don't have anything to test with it right now I don't have anything torn apart anyhow I'm sure I'm sure something will break but uh, so what I have here let me see I didn't label it yet, but this is the outside, the output side right here. I put a B and C on here, and I'm going to use just the uh, the leads, and I'll show you that. Let's see. I'll turn it on. There's there's the on/off switch. Turn that on, and I'll zoom over here. Let's see. What we're looking at now. Trying to get everything going here. So I'll try and get you into the scope. Without getting my big mug in the way. There it is. So uh when I turn the potentiometer up on the input side, either it's all the way down, all the way up, it gets to be a pretty sizable signal. I think it's almost 4 volts. And uh, can zoom in a little bit, you can see it looks like a pretty nice signal, but again, I'm just looking for the noise. Uh, and it's a th we're close to 1000 hertz, 917. Um, yeah, close to uh, 1 kilohertz, 917 hertz. So. Uh, that works pretty good. So that's on the output side, and I give you a quick demonstration of the input side. So I'll zoom back down here to the uh, to the machine. Let me zoom out a little bit so that you can see what I'm going to do here. So I'll take this off here. I'm going to disconnect it from the O scope, and I'll plug this onto the input side. And if you you listen, I'm going to turn down the that. 
there's a little bit of bleed over from the oscillator in there. There's actually, I, I actually ran like a redundant ground across there and it cuts most of it out. But when you have this really cranked up to hear some noise, you can hear it, but I'm hoping you're hearing that. But I'll show you, um, let me leave that like that. We'll just get a function generator here. And I have a about a thousand hertz signal at four volts on there. And if you look, I don't even have these leads connected together. But it's it's enough to pick it out. I can turn it down a little bit, get some of that noise out of there. And there's the, the generator's off. Generator's on. I'm hoping you can hear that. In fact, I can even bring it a little bit closer. And as I just pull the leads away. So, it'll definitely be pretty sensitive. Let's see if we pick up any static. Uh, but as soon as I find something to test, maybe we'll bring it down and, and throw it on. I just wanted to show you, if, if you did buy one of these kits, or you were thinking about something like one of these kits, uh, you can put it inside a box like this. You could probably, if you were concerned with the, uh, with the RF or any of the other noises in the area, which I'd probably get them from the fluorescent light, you could use a steel box if you want. I just got these boxes because I've made other things with these, with these boxes. And, uh, I think I think they work pretty good. I can't find any of the stuff right now because they're way back in in my cabinet. But uh, and I've even I've used the uh, the steel boxes here. This is just a, a signal attenuator. Uh, it's got a series of resistors in there, but that's just a. Uh, regular work box, electric, electricity work box. That one I was a little worried about uh, RF noise, so I did put that in into steel. Uh, small, another small box to put, uh, this is a capacitor inductor tester that I built and uh, just wanted to put it somewhere so I threw it in that. Um, but anyhow, that's, that's about it for uh, just so that you Maybe throw an idea your way and you're thinking of maybe buying one of these and what can you do with it? Well, you can put it in a box and then you'll have, for 30 bucks, you'll have a uh, signal tracer. So thanks for watching and that's all I have. Good night.